Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome to another PyQt5 tutorial video. My name is Jay. In this tutorial, we're going to create a very simple date picker tool for your Excel spreadsheet in Python. So this is actually the first video I go into how to integrate PyQt framework with an Excel application. So before we get started, uh, let me just show you what we'll be doing in this exercise. So right here I have a spreadsheet and here's a, a PyQt calendar widget. So the purpose in this video is to show you how we can uh, take PyQt5 widgets and use those uh, use those functionalities in Excel. And just because we know Excel is probably the most widely used spreadsheet application uh, today, with more than uh, almost like almost a billion users out there today. And as well as we know Python is also the most popular language and PyQt5 is also one of the most popular GUI framework. So right here I have the calendar widget and here I have my Excel spreadsheet. So let's say I want to insert date instead of typing the, the date uh, manually and I can just choose a date from my uh, calendar widget. So let's say I want to insert dates for uh, January 15, 2020. So I can just click on this date right here. And that's going to pop the, the dates in Excel. And so if I click on any cells in my Excel spreadsheet, I can use this calendar tool and just basically to uh, improve the process of entering dates. Now let's get started. So first thing first, I'm going to import all the necessary uh, libraries. And fortunately uh, for this uh, demo or this exercise, we won't be writing a lot of code. So here uh, from the PyQt5 Qt widgets module. And I'm going to import the, oops, here I made a typo from. I'm going to import the Q application, Q widget, and the Q calendar classes. It should be Q calendar widget class. In terms of manipulating Excel application, I'll be using the uh, PyWing32 library. And that's the that's the uh, library I usually go to when I need to uh, manipulate Excel spreadsheet. So here I'm going to construct my Excel application instance. So I'm going to take the Win32.client module. And within that module, I'm going to call the dispatch method. And inside the dispatch method, I'm going to provide the Excel application name. So it should be Excel.application. And I want to set my Excel application visibility to 2. Next, I'm going to create my calendar class. So I'll call the class calendar app. And here, let me actually just go ahead and create my application instance. As well as the system.exit uh, statement. And here I'm going to construct my calendar app instance. So I'll name the app jar uh, CL, so it stands for calendar. Okay, now let me just run it just in case if I made any typos. So, uh, no module name, PyQt. Oh, so here I made a typo. Okay, great. So, this is our calendar uh, widget. So, the question is how do we connect uh, a PyQt widget to an Excel spreadsheet? So it's actually, the concept is pretty, actually, pretty straightforward. Essentially, you are actually just transferring different data points from one system to another system. And to do that, so here I'm going to use, I'm going to connect the click the connect signal. This statement right here is going to pass the, the date value uh, to whoever the method that you're connecting to. So that means within my, uh, my method, so I don't have a method created yet. But inside this method, I'm going to use this method to connect to my Excel application. So I'm going to call this method insert date. 
and we know we're going to receive the uh, the signal. In this in this case, will be dates signal. And since I want this tool to be universal, meaning that I can use this tool to any X application. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the X application that selection uh, map property and that value. So this statement is, means that uh, when you select Excel file and this is your, this is your current selection. So this slash right here uh, is X application that selection that value. So it's asking uh, what value do you want to transfer to that cell? So since we know uh, when you click on a date uh, on your calendar widget, the date signal is going to get passed on to the insert date uh, method. So here we can transfer the date to something Excel will be able to recognize. So here we'll take the date object and we'll transfer to uh, Python date format. And here we can format basically any date format that Excel uh, will accept. So Excel accept many different types of uh, date format as long as the date uh, is returns as a string type. So I'm going to just format the date format to uh, uh, months as number, day as number, and years also as number. And that's it. So that's everything we need to do. And let me save this script. And let me just terminate uh, all my Excel instances. It will start fresh. Now, if I run this uh, Python script, oops, uh, oh, I forgot to provide the method. And let me try again. So now, when I launch this, uh, when I run this uh, Python program, let's call this program. And this statement is going to launch a brand new Excel instance. And this instance, so in this case will be this Excel application instance is connecting to our uh, Python program. Now when you uh, create a new Excel file, and this Excel file is called book one, I'll create another Excel file. So this will be book two. And you also see that the calendar widget is also uh, displayed. So now if I select any cells, and if I click on my calendar widget, I'm going to choose a date. And this cell right here, which is the, which is uh, the current selection uh, cell, that value is going to take this uh, value right here and pass on to our spreadsheet, which is uh, October 9, 2019. And if I go back to a different spreadsheet, which is book two for this one, and I'm going to choose a different date. So I'm going to choose uh, January 2020 and first of uh, first January 1st, 2020. And that day is going to get uh, entered in my book to Excel spreadsheet. But I also want to talk about uh, the advantage and the benefits first, the, the disadvantage uh, using the PyQt5 uh, calendar widget or any PyQt widgets uh, uh, to you want to use to manipulate Excel. So I've been using uh, PyQt5 for a while now. And as well as I've been uh, in the past, I was doing a lot of uh, Excel or Office application developments. One of the main drawback using PyQt5 uh, integrated Excel is that uh, there's a there's a learning curve because PyQt5 is not free. In my opinion, it's not the easiest uh, GUI library to to learn. But once you pick it up, you can basically create anything you want. Uh, like data entry form or replacement of a macro or anything like that. But like I say, there's a learning curve. And the other thing is when you use any Microsoft Office application, uh, Phoebe is already comes with it. So by default, you don't have to install any third party library and you can basically just use Phoebe uh, right away. Uh, if, if you want to, you don't have to install anything first. If, uh, if you are trying to use Python to replace any Excel automation, then uh, this additional work that you have to do, such as uh, integration, uh, reference different Excel application, and you don't get the autocomplete feature like you do in Excel, 
if you use Python to do any Excel automation, then you have to know uh, the Office application object model pretty well. But that takes time. But once you do that, and it's a pretty easy transition from VBA to Python. So that's everything I have to say. And hopefully you guys found this video useful. As always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.